All right, ladies and gents, welcome back to the third installment of my build of the Surf PI Longboard Edition. It's a DIY pulse induction detector. And this installment, we're going to be taking a look at the preamp portion of the circuit. The preamp is anchored by this op amp here. It's an NE5534. Okay, um, we've got this offset trimmer pot here. We'll show you the workings of that. And a uh, couple diodes also up here. You can see I've got my coil installed. And this I have uh, right here is the damping resistor I have in circuit at the moment. So let's take a look and see what our waveforms look like. We're going to be looking at the coil flyback as well as test point two. And test point two is the output of the preamp. That's the NE5534. So let's take a look at that. Okay, guys, um, channel one, output of the preamp. You see, I've got quite a bit of. Uh, ripple going there. I have a tremendous amount of EMI in my workshop and the uh, coil that I'm using presently is, does not have a shield on it. Um, channel 2 is the coil flyback. It's in the vicinity of uh, about 200 volts I think near as I can see without my glasses on so that's what those look like and let's take a quick look at the schematic and possibly looking at the offset of that trimmer for the op amp so as I mentioned uh, I'm going to take a very brief look at the schematic for the portion that uh, we were observing today and that is the preamp portion so let me just try to encapsulate the portion of the circuit here we go get test point two in there and so th that's it these are the components that you need to place on the board if you want to uh, build modularly, which is the correct way to do it. Um, we have the op amp NE5534. We've got this trimmer cap, which for uh, the nulling of the op amp, um, test point two down here is the output of the preamp. And um, these clipping diodes, as well as these sorted uh, rest of the other passive components here. Um, that That's it really and we'll continue on with the project and I appreciate you watching. Okay so let's take a look at the offset adjustment. Um, I've read several different opinions on how to do this correctly um, obviously if you disagree with how I do it please leave me a, a comment on the video um, here's the uh, trim pot for the offset you can see my scope probes here is the probe here's the ground we're on the output of the preamp in this case you can see here I do have the coil attached um, like I said there's varying opinions on that whether or not to have the coil attached from what I have read now let's take a look at the scope so obviously obviously ideally when you're doing the offset of the uh, preamp you're hoping to get um, a, a zero volt reading 
at the output in this case test point two um, you can see my readings here I'm not going to go through tweaking that uh, trimmer pot again I think it's I, I don't like to uh, go through too many res uh, revolutions on those things especially since I purchased mine from Tata so uh, you can see we're jumping around for the uh, mean voltage between uh, 40 and 0 so that's 40 millivolts and 0 volts so that's all there is to say about that like I said please leave me a comment if you disagree with how I did it I am always eager to learn other people's ideas thanks